Greetings everyone, Spartan here, coach of the Victor Velvetini. Welcome back to another team builder for LEL's Major Season 9. We're at week 7. Not, I apologize for last week's uh, being week 5. It's actually week, that was week 6. But this is week 7 as we go up against uh, Mega Matt and the Winpeg Jellisons. Now, I actually want to apologize about how I took that loss I should have at, when I look back at the battle even with that crit I could have done something about it I could have brought in Como Dragon Dance instead of attacking or well attack Dragon Dance maybe like two or three times and probably try to uh, bring the bring it back with a uh, Crocodile in some sort of way or or something like that. I don't know but the crit hurt kind of brought me down a bit at, after uh, Losing uh, mega garb shop from that from that even though I ran calcs like multiple times But uh, it is what it is What are you gonna do about it? But just hold the L I guess anyways, this is a new week and with a new threat that we're up against. Uh, we're up against Kieran Black, Cobalion, Zerkatrice, Mega Slowbro, Snorlax, Amoongus, Mandibuzz, Slurpuff, Miss Magus, Torkoal, Armaldo, and Claydol. Uh, just looking at the team, I can e even say that, uh, uh, that. The first six I see, the Kieran Black, Omolion, Jerkatrice, Megaslopo, Snorlax, and Moogus, I can see all of those six coming right in the get-go. But at the same time, I can see Mandibuzz and Slurpuff coming in. Uh, I could see Miss Magius, but at the same time I can't because I, my ghost types and, Cro and also Crocodile can pretty much destroy Miss Magius. Torgil kind of makes sense because of Manaphy, but at the same time, I have like double ground, I have Deancey, I have a lot of things that could just take Tor Torkoal out, so I, I don't really see him bringing that. Armaldo, eh, maybe, maybe the Sorsan set, maybe, like Aqua Jet, Rocky Z, maybe, other than that, I kind of don't see it coming. Uh, play it all. I actually do see it coming because I know for sure that he needs some kind of hazard removal. Because for this week, uh, I'm bringing a lot of hazards. So I, I really, I kind of see Clay all uh, being brought in. So I definitely see Cure in Black because that pretty much destroys my entire team because I almost have no switches for it. Go ball, Eon. Circuitry, probably either Scarf or maybe Expert Belt. Mega Slowbro. And either any of the combinations of Snorlax, Amoongus, Mandibus, Surpuff, or Claydol. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into the team builder. Now, the team that I have that I'm bringing in, uh. I actually asked someone on uh, on my front office to build it for me because I was a bit down uh, from last week. I needed to cool off. So uh, one of them, Paulo, shout out to him for making this team. Actually, I need to make a quick change because this is actually that. There we go. All right. So first up, we have Naturala, the Como, bringing leftovers, overcoat. Overcoat is for... Um, Sure, I can have a safe switch into Moongus or any p potential, like, I don't know, weather. I doubt it. I It can happen, but I doubt it. But other than that, it's mainly for a Moongus. I wanted, I initially, it was initially bulletproof, but uh, it, there were, I, I really felt like uh, Overcoat was the better choice. Since I didn't have like a great a good switch into Spore, other than Winsicott, even though Winsicott gets demolished by Moongus just by typing. 
So I got Soy Stance, uh, Substitute, Thunder Punch, and Dragon Claw. Um, one Psychic, Substitute 2 up. If it, uh, Moongus have, like, Clear Smog and it actually stays in, uh, it won't uh, lower the stats. And I'm... Even with the investments of attack, I can guarantee, uh, keep the sub up and able to get a free source dance. If it has, like, special attack investment, it has a chance. But other than that, if it has no investment, which pretty much it will, uh, won't have any investment, it won't break the substitute. So I got source dance because source dance is... It, uh, with more raw power over Dragon Dance, um, just based off of what Apollo told me, uh, Thunder Punch and Dragon Claw are like two coverages that pretty much hits everything on his team relatively well. I mean, a lot of, a lot of his mons do, doesn't want to take a stab Dragon Claw. Thunder Punch hits a lot, of, uh, a lot on Slowbro, Mandibuzz. Uh, and neutral hits on Cobalion, uh, and also Slurpuff. Dragon Claw just hits everything ha relatively hard with Stab. Uh, so, I mean, I initially w wanted to have like maybe Drain Punch instead because I was using Substitute, but I think I want to try to leeway out of worrying too much about recovery. I just want to do a lot of damage. I just want to weaken his his team with what I have. So next up on the list uh, on our team is Breed the Frostless. We're bringing it back, but we're not bringing the Hail or a Veil this time, unfortunately. Uh, this is a Focus Sash with Cursed Body. Uh, we got uh, it's a pretty basic uh, build with Spikes, Taunt, Will O' Wisp, and Ice Beam. I kind of wanted Shadow Ball, but at the same time. With this set, I can get walled by... Well, it can wall Snorlax, but at the same time, it, uh, Snorlax can wall me at the same time. So, having Ice Beam might be a bit better choice, especially with the 10% chan chance of freezing. Uh, Will-O-Wisp is to burn anything that's uh, that's in front of me. If, it, if he leads, like... Cure in Black or Combalion, I want to will o -Wisp as soon as possible. Time to prevent any uh, hazard uh, setters. I, I was thinking about having uh, the click taunt on Combalion, but I probably might not. And then Spikes is just too good against this team outside of Mandibuzz and Claydol. Um, my main thing is to wither down a lot of his threats so that. My next two mons can actually do something. Uh, and with the typing itself, I can able to... What's the best way to say in it? Uh, survive a lot of hits from... Cheer and Black. Especially if it's like, Z. Next, uh, anyways. Next on the team is Terabyte. The Crocodile. We're running Earth Plate this time with Intimidate. Uh, trying to lower the attack on a lot of his threats. With Earthquake, Stealth Rock, Toxic, and Knockoff. Uh, we've got Speed Investment to Outspeed. Let's see, what, what was it? Uh, Zerkitry. Uh, got some, a little bit of uh, HP Investment for a little bit of bulk. Earthquake hits a lot of his team, especially with Earth, Earthplate uh, powering up. Knockoff is technically free on a lot of his teams. If I can land a Toxic on, like, potential switch in to make a slow bro, that'll be great. Stealth Rock is just as good uh, against his team as well. Specifically the Mandibuzz, the Torical, and the Kieran Black, and Amaro. Uh, so having Hazards in this game is crucial. Unfortunately, I don't have any hazard removal this game because I just want the game to be over quickly. Because, let's be honest, uh, it, it's going to be hard for me to stay sane. It, well, not stay sane, but like, 
win this game because I have almost no switch ins to Kieran Black. That's how threatening Kieran Black is. Other than that, uh, that's all the uh, uh, terabytes are there for. Just to click Earthquake, keep hazards, uh, keep hazards up on the field, clicking Toxic on everything, and just knocking off a, a lot of items. I have to be careful on Cobalion, of course, but you know. Next on the team is uh, Ocean Man, the Manfi. We're br finally bringing it back after a nice little hiatus. Uh, we're bringing Ferium Z uh, in s out of all, all the TMs. We've got Tail Glow, Surf, Dazzling Gleam, and Energy Ball. I, ha I was trying to debate whether or not to have either Energy Ball or Psychic, but I definitely needed Dazzling Gleam. And Surf hits a little bit harder than Scald, even though Scald is nice for the burn. Uh, with a Dazzling uh, a Z Dazzling Gleam at plus 3, I am guaranteed to... Uh, well, not guaranteed. Well, I can. Gu I guarantee uh, KO uh, Kieran Black with hazards up, specifically like a one layer of spikes. Uh, other than that, it's like it, it'll barely live if it has like max H. If it doesn't have uh, any HP investment, surprising enough. But it, the basically the HP and the defense uh, investment is just a tank. Some uh, some hits from most of the physical attackers, especially Kieran Black if he runs uh, Bolt Strike. If it's Bolt Strike, I can guarantee survive it, but I don't think I'll survive a Z Gigavolt Havoc, that's for sure. Uh, but Energy Ball is mainly for Mega Slowbro, uh, Dazzling Gleam for Mandibuzz and Kieran Black, like I mentioned before. And Surf, it just hits everything else relatively well. Uh, next to the team, next member on the team is our defensive uh, Mon, which is Philomena the Moltres. Bring Rocket Helmet. We're using Pressure instead of uh, uh, Flame Body because I want to burn away as much uh, like attacks as possible. And Rocket Helmet is just a great switch into potential like. Close Combat or Iron Head from Gobalion, Return from or Facade from Snorlax, uh, Foul Play from Mandibuzz, Slurpuff, you know, uh, Marlo, Amaldo as well. Just, just pretty much a f uh, a sponge for it. Not too much, but still uh, efficiently enough. And also a special attack, uh, able to hit a lot of mods really well. I think the flamethrower has a good chance of Okoing Amoongus relatively well, and Cabaleon, especially if he brings Torkoal and the sun is up, so who knows, Philomena might have a good role in this game. We got Toxic, Roost, U-Turn, and Flamethrower. Like I said, Flamethrower hits a lot in this team with a little small chance of burn. U-Turn for momentum, Roost for healing. And toxic just in case. Uh, since I'm not running Will O Wisp, I'd rather run uh, that toxic. It's just. It hits everything relatively well. And last but not least is Mithy Mood, the, the Blade. Running Eevee Light, we're running a little bit more offensive this uh, this time. No more, not running any uh, a lot of defenses. We're running Max it be almost Max uh, Special Attack. We're running Sword Stance, Shadow Sneak, Sacred Sword, and Shadow Claw. The type, uh, the typing itself offensively hits everything really good. Uh, Mana Buzz on neutral with Sacred Sword. It pretty much almost Oko's uh, Snorlax depending on the investments it, uh, at plus two. Uh, the Blade is relatively a safe switch in to Snorlax and uh, potential. Uh, Belly Drum, uh, Slurpuff, and Cobalion. Uh, I don't know about. Uh, I don't know, not so sure about uh, Care and Black though, but still. But other than that, that's the team. That's the team that we have. Uh, like I said, thank you Apollo for building this team for me. I know I was in a bit of a slump uh, during the week I was away, but 
I'm back. Uh, another quick thing before we sign off. I sign off uh, is that update about uh, the playthrough for Pokemon XG. It will be back. I promise you that. I just need to do a little bit of uh, editing. Without for, uh, um, all, all I can say is all, the you'll notice a big difference in the audio in the next few episodes. So until next time, until uh, I'll catch you guys later.